There's no reason in the world that this country should tolerate having a person come from another country and burn our flag, desecrate our monuments, spit on the very uh, sacred honor of those who have given us our freedom. If, if they hate it that much, don't bother coming. I totally agree with what you said. I think it's ridiculous that we would think that people have a right, some right, to come to our country and insult us. There is no right to do that. We love having immigrants come to America. We wish that people would want to come, be part of this country, make it better. Bring your ideas, bring your zest for freedom, but don't come and spit on us because we'll just show you the door and send you walking. And, and I know that Kamala Harris put out a statement condemning all this, but I'm not buying it. I'm just not buying it. This <laughs> woman intentionally disrespected the Israeli prime minister. Her butt should have been up on Capitol Hill. Instead, she was hanging out with sorority sisters. That, that's just unfor unforgivable in my estimation. Well, and then she acted like she had the authority to lecture Benjamin Netanyahu on how to prosecute the war against Hamas. First of all, she's not the president. She's the vice president. And she's a candidate for president, but she does not have the authority to go and dress down the prime minister of a foreign country and tell him what he ought to be doing in terms of bringing an end to the war and being more humane. What she should be saying is what you folks experience in Israel on October the 7th of 23 was so hideous that we stand with you with not a bit of daylight between us. We want you to get rid of Hamas. We want you to get the hostages yeah. back because five of them are Americans, and we stand with you. That's what she needs to say. She needs to quit trying to satisfy Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, who can never be satisfied until there's not a living Jew on the planet. Governor, I want to get your reaction to, the, to this weird sort of creepy endorsement that the Obamas gave this morning. Uh, let's let's watch that. Kamala. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Oh, hi. You're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you both. I, I, I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh, my goodness. Michelle, Brock, this means so much to me. Uh, <laughs> Governor, th does that sound very authentic to you? <laughs> uh, I love spontaneity. You know, spontaneity is so carefully scripted and planned that there's nothing about it that's spontaneous. It, it honestly uh, plays us all for fools to think that we would believe she's just walking around holding a cell phone and guess who calls? Barack and Michelle Obama. And she puts it on speakerphone and then holds it up to her ear. Come on, this is absurd. But you know, hey, if I were Kamala Harris, I'd want his endorsement and she got it. It was weird and I think you used the word creepy. That's being charitable as to what that whole phone call seemed like to me.